and this is what the Hero 13 sounds like with the wind reduction on. And then if we swap over to the Action 5, this is what that sounds like. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be putting together the GoPro Hero 13 and the DJI Action 5 Pro head to head in an all out audio competition. So let's start with a closer look at the hardware on these little pigs. Starting with the GoPro. Mics, three of them. One there in the front. Pick up what you're pointing at and shooting. This one on the top is meant for picking up the narrator when you're talking over the scene or you know behind the camera just like this. And the third mic is here underneath that. So this is built so there's a big drain for water and I will be doing a test later inside the ice cold swimming pool. My Hero 11 often struggled if I was recording underwater and I'd pop up and say something and it'd be all distorted. The little mics were getting full of water so this little part helps with that. One of the things you can do with this Hero 13 is get the media mod, which as far as I'm concerned is garbage. If you add the media mod, you get a built-in directional mic with a windscreen and two cold shoes so you can have mounted on it some sort of a transmitter for wireless mic. And then there's a three and a half millimeter microphone input. Now the problem with this is when you put it on, it starts to look like some kind of a cyborg and it completely compromises the waterproofing of the case because you've got to pull the battery door off in order to get the media mount on. The other problem that I've had with it is having that wire sticking out, I've had times where I am filming and filming and you have this wire coming out and it unplugs just a little bit and you end up getting distorted sound. It's completely useless. Hello. Hello. I hate this thing and I was always wishing that there was a, a way to just go wireless, um, which is the whole reason why I jumped into this camera, king of wireless mics and the camera to go with it. So jumping into this, the Action 5 Pro features a powerful three mic system designed to capture clear and immersive audio in various conditions. And this is how it works. There is a mic just like the GoPro Hero 13 on the front. It is right there. And this mic captures the scene you're filming and makes sure that your audio matches whatever's happening in front of the lens. And there's this top mic. So this mic is ideal for recording your voice uh, when you're narrating or giving commentary during your shoots. So it helps to isolate your voice and it makes it clearer even if the background is noisy. And then thirdly, this right here is the bottom mic. So the bottom mic, um, it helps just keep everything balanced and it aids with reducing wind noise. The three mics work together to reduce the noise and provide a full 360 degree sound experience. So they advertise the system as the optimized way for action packed environments and outdoor use. Okay, now that we got that boring part out of the way, let's head outside with these little guys and we'll do some audio tests. Now, I don't want any of the image switching to persuade the thoughts on the audio quality, so uh, I will be recording on both cameras, but I'm only going to be editing one visual into it all, so you can just hear the difference in the sound and you don't match it to the visual that you see. Okay, so now that we've gone over the hardware, it's time to check out the audio. It is very windy out today. And I'm gonna run into the woods here. I've got the wind reduction on both of them turned right off. So this is what it sounds like on the Action 5. And this is what it sounds like on the Hero 13. So to get out of the wind, I'm just gonna do a test at arm's length walking through these wonderful trees. So I guess I'll talk a little bit about why I decided to buy the Action 5 over the GoPro. As I mentioned earlier, the battery change on the GoPro made it easy for me to go ahead and pick a new camera. If I was upgrading, one of the biggest things I wanted was audio quality, specifically the DJI Mic 2. And I knew that the one camera that would be really good at it was the Action 5, so that's what I got here. I do a ton of traveling and a lot of vlogging along with that traveling. If you're new to my channel, you can check out some of that stuff in my playlists do some road trips around the world. Now I'm gonna flip this around and do it from uh, the narrator's point of view to see what that's like. So here's the thing, after watching tons of reviews, I felt like people were leaning too, way too hard against the Action 5. And I didn't understand why GoPro was getting such a bad rap. So I knew GoPro still had a, a dog in the fight and figured 
I better buy both and see for myself. Here's my little gnomes, my little gnomey gnome friends. I'm just going to stop the recording and put the auto wind on the GoPro and the standard wind on the DJI. So here we are vlogging again from the front, um, arm's length. Look good, feel good. Uh, noise reduction on the GoPro is set to auto for wind and standard for the Action 5. So I am pretty well sheltered in the trees here, but maybe not uh, the best. It is a little breezy coming through. So I'm gonna get out right into the wind here and I'm going to change the settings to on for the GoPro and full power for the DJI. And we'll see what that does. But once we get into the wind, I'm really curious to see how the narrating aspect shows for audio when I get, when I get this through to the editing and the low light because it is pretty low light here today. Now it's windy. Yeah, look at that wind blowing. Camera should be picking up the wind. Again, we have auto on the GoPro and on the Action 5, we are at standard. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put the camera down here and I'm gonna change up the settings here. I'm gonna put the GoPro to on and I'm gonna put the DJI to full power. Here we go. So there we are. It is quite windy today. I'm curious to see how the super high setting on the wind reduction for the Action 5 plays out against the on setting on the Hero 13 because this is breezy and there's some ducks. Ducks love wind. It is a nice day to be a duck. So again, I'm just gonna put this right into the wind. And this is what the Hero 13 sounds like with the wind reduction on. And then if we swap over to the Action 5, this is what that sounds like. So from all the reviews I was watching that did show anything about audio, the Action 5 really did a good job of getting rid of the wind sound, but it made the person talking sound like a robot. Um, that's crazy. That's it for the wind test. I am going to change back to auto and um, standard for the DJI and uh, I'll keep on doing some tests here. So another test that I wanted to do with these cameras is the underwater test. Not so much underwater, but the surfacing test that you get after you come out of the water. So I'm gonna dunk it. I'll wrap a tap tap on the side a little bit to see if we can hear anything underwater. And then when I pull it out, I'm just gonna start rabbling and I wanna see how much distortion is there if the mics fill with water or how that works. So this is the Action 5 Pro submerging test. Down we go. So that's super cold. My arm is freezing. I was actually, I'm not going in. Um, it's not going to happen. I can see on the lens there's a little bit of uh, the water. The water is, is building up on there. Now that's something I talked about a little earlier. I wanted to see if that's going to happen on the GoPro or what. So I'm curious to see how this is affecting the, the microphones on here. <laughs> See now I used to have to blow into my Hero 11 like that after I came out of the water to make sure I had clear audio after. So I'm going to see in post if that made a difference or how it worked. And then I'm going to switch over to the Hero 13 for the same test. So everything's closed up on that one. In we go. Oh, that's cold. So I'm just going to do my rock tap tapping. So that's the Hero 13 being dunked and ah, my hand is actually throbbing. I'm pretty sure I'd die if I went into the pool. Um, so this Hero 13, I, there's no drops on the lens. That hydrophobic lens sure did a good job. The water came right off of it and the side mic looks to have drained and I think that's where I might get a little satisfaction out of the, the new microphone system on here. Now, just in case the microphone isn't working properly. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. 
now it should be and that's what I used to have to do with my Hero 11 so I'm hoping that it just worked well as soon as it came out of the water but we'll see so I've switched to the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 for a second here while I am setting up the cameras for Bluetooth audio okay let's see how easy or not easy it is to pair this up with the DJI Action 5 so green light wireless mic there we go press and hold the record button until indicator turns solid blue there's the record button solid blue there it's connected look at that super easy and now let's see if it stays connected if I turn the camera off Okay, that's good, good news. The other thing I wanna try with it is if I use the quick capture or snapshot, I think maybe they call it, I can't remember what they call it with DJI, but. There, look at that, it's recording and the mic is hooked up. Okay, that's really cool, I like that. It does work a lot better than I thought. Now we're gonna try it on the GoPro, paired. You can see on the green bar there, it is working. That is super. Okay, then I'm gonna do the same thing I did. I'm gonna try to turn the GoPro off and on and see if it connects. See if the light goes flashy, flashy. Turning it back on and see. Check the settings, see if we're still hooked up to it. Well, it's got Bluetooth searching. That's not very good. Um, I guess it'll work, but it looks like every time you turn it off, you have to pair it again, and it doesn't pair super easy. But we're going to check out the quality. If the quality is good, I can get around that as well. It's not a deal breaker. So when I powered up the Action 5 again after it sat for about 10 minutes, it did snap right into pairing with the mic, and that is terrific. It actually showed up uh, its status too, how much battery was left on it. GoPro. Action 5. So I'm standing about six feet away from the cameras here and this is what it sounds like coming through the Action 5 on the DJI Mic 2 and this is what it sounds like coming through the Hero 13 on the DJI Mic 2. And I'm just going to take some steps back and this is what the audio quality sounds like coming through the Action 5 on the DJI Mic 2 and this is what the audio quality sounds like on the Hero 13 coming through the DJI Mic 2. So let's go another 12 meters and we'll get to 25 and see where we're at there. This is what the audio sounds like coming through the DJI Mic 2 into the Action 5 Pro. And at 25 meters, this is what the audio quality sounds like going into the Hero 13 from the DJI Mic 2. Three, Mic 2, Mic 2, too many, too many numbers. So I'm gonna go right to the end here. I'm gonna say I'm about 35 meters, 40 maybe probably 40 meters away here and some little bit of trees in the way but I'm curious to plug this in and see what kind of sound we get I'm gonna run to the side now I've got some disturbance with the trees and see what this sounds like coming through the DJI mic 3 on the action 5 versus the DJI mic 3 through the 13 hero it's good eh so that's about what we get for connectivity there. It's not showing me any errors. It looks like it's all good to go. And of course, I'm not gonna give my final thoughts until I edit everything and I get to listen to them. So hold on to your butts. Okay, so I just finished hours and hours of editing and I've made my decision on which of these two cameras I think has the better audio. It's not just a straightforward answer. When the DJI has the wind reduction on, it does tend to have a crispy, not so natural sound on the voice. And the settings in this camera are off, standard, and high. Whereas the Hero has off, automatic, 
and on. And so throughout most of the vlogging, this was set on standard and you could hear that somewhat twangy robotic sound coming through it. Whereas the GoPro stuck with more of a natural sound throughout the median of my testing today. Now with the wind reduction on off on the DJI, it sounded very similar to the GoPro and I think it's a draw. But that's just my opinion. You have a listen and you let me know in the comments which one you think did better in the vlogging portion of it. The second part would be the wind reduction. Now today is super windy out and when you go over the part where I switched in the high winds, this little sucker from standard to high, it absolutely got rid of all the wind. It blows me away <laughs> what, what it did there. It did have uh, that twangy robotic sound, sort of, but compared to the Hero Pro, which held the standard of normality for my voice, throughout that wind, uh, the background noise was just simply not something that I would want to have in any of my videos. So I have to give a solid win to the Action 5 Pro because that, that that's just amazing what it did with the wind. And thirdly, we're gonna talk about the wireless transmission, which is really no surprise that the DJI is gonna take the cake here. The mic system I have is designed and built by DJI, so it's obviously gonna work better with the DJI camera. Now, that being said, the audio quality was slightly better with the DJI at all the different distances, but the fact that every time I shut the Kiro 13 off, it would not auto reconnect is no good. Whereas the DJI would always auto connect even if I used the snapshot. And the other thing is when you are hooked up to the DJI mic on the Action 5 Pro, you get a whole menu of things you can do inside the camera to adjust your microphones. Hero 13, none of that. And lastly, I'm going to talk about the water sports part between these two cameras. When I take an action camera into the water, you get that bad muffled distorted noise when you pull it out because the microphones become plugged with water. And sometimes you catch it right away and sometimes it will go on for many, many minutes of recording before the mic clears itself out. But this little microphone on here took care of that today. I was super surprised with that. So this camera for sure is going to be coming along with me whenever I do any crazy waterfall shots or jumping into rivers, stuff like that. GoPro, good for you. You had to win something. I feel sorry for you. I really do. I want you to do better. So you can take that for uh, how you want it. It depends on what kind of atmosphere you're going to be filming in. Hopefully this little audio video I made helps you to choose which camera is best for you. I'm the Jaunting Ape. Thanks for tuning into my channel today. If you enjoyed this video, consider hitting that like button, maybe even subscribe. It helps to keep the channel growing. The world is yours.